Hello everybody, today we're going to find out what really is EDP coating and should we or shouldn't we leave it on? Stay tuned. actually a coating that's been put on a lot of products that especially in the automotive field so the part that they has made is protected for shipping and handling purposes the problem we have with EDP coating there's different types of uh, coatings out there some of them hold up really well and some don't um, we found processing these fender wells that came out of Taiwan their electroplating process of the paint is actually really resilient so we're not able to actually tackle all of this off so it's going to be really fine for an inner fender well however you've seen me in the video past doing Dan's 57 Chevy that I actually paint stripped the EDP right off the top and started over and then we zinc chromated 2k out of that reason why I do that is because sometimes depending on the EDP coating itself it could be a lacquer based and lacquer base will actually still, the, the moisture in the air will still permeate into it and then spider out rust inside it. And you don't know it until it's too late. So we want to make sure our surface is perfect. When we're doing underbody parts or inner portion parts like this, it's not as critical as it is on the exterior of the car. Not to say that it isn't, but we pick and choose the battle. This particular EDP coating or electro deposit painting uh, it is pretty resilient on this one. I've had panels come in, especially on floor pans, truck pans, on tri fives that we have done. Um, they used a lacquer based. Best way to check it is actually to see if it regenerates with lacquer thinner. Let's give it a try. Here's our lacquer thinner um, and our E4143 Sunterra White. I'm going to use this to just check an area on this particular coating to see if it regenerates. If it does regenerate, that means it's not going to be uh, protected as a real good coating. Um, and what it'll do is it's possible it could trap moisture down in it and then rust out. I can show you an example on a piece of metal. On this particular piece of metal, you can see what was scarring underneath the EDP coating. We're going to have to sand the rest of that out. But I wanted to show you what actually can get trapped under your coating. Okay, we're going to take our shop lacquer thinner. And we're going to try a little area on this and see how much it regenerates. Regeneration means you're actually reactivating itself. It, the, the, you're reactivating the product using a chemical. This here, this one is excellent. This isn't pulling, this isn't doing anything. This is on for life, so I know I'm not going to have any rust really down below the surface of this. So this is a very good coating they put on here. Okay, so sanding an EDP coating is another story. Depending on the quality of the EPD that they have on the product, it can be a real pain in the neck or it can be real easy. And if it's really tough to sand, you can also bet it's going to uh, hold very well for the life of the panel. And EDP is not a bad product you can work off of. It's, it's, it's good, it's, it's industry standard, a lot of shops do it. However, I like to, I like to rough it up and make sure every nook and cranny, this is in the process of being sanded. You can see it's all lighter shade, the darker area is not what I've gotten me to yet. But the, the sanded area is important for my product to stick to their coating. If I don't have enough teeth and sanding marks into this stuff, I'm not gonna be able to grab my product into it. So it's very important this gets scuffed. It's okay if you punch through, it's all right if you see a little style line breakthroughs, that's normal, it happens on any, any vehicle that we're all doing. Even when we go to sealer, we even have style line breakthrough on the final primer. That's normal, sealer coats are good for that, just as long as it doesn't ring through the sealer coat, ringing mean it shows a halo effect on top of coating. Um, in this process, it doesn't matter because we're going to be going with an epoxy primer, so we're going to seal the EDP, and then we're going to go right after that with a 2K primer, and the 2K primer will go back and sand and work out any little scratches, imperfections, and everything like that, and make it real pretty so we can paint. So let's get started. I'll show you how 
rough the good EDP coating is on this particular inner fender. For this, we're gonna use a snap-on DA. It's got a bigger pivot swing point in there and we're using 220 or 320 sandpaper. I don't need anything crazy on this. I already know I got good coating. I just wanna make sure that I can grab my material. There you go. Now you'll see the fringe areas where it hasn't ripped. If I can't get in those little areas, they gotta be sanded and scuffed. You can use a scotch Bright, which is, we use 3M medium. They'll make it all different, different types, um, but we like to use this. And get in here. And scuff it right up. It takes time to do, we have two sets of these in the shop. It takes time to do this. And it will chew hours, but you really want to do the job right. You don't want to just paint over this. It's not going to hold. It'll lift. Don't have those issues. Spare yourself the trouble. Sand it. Do it right. It's not a bad product to paint over, depending on if it doesn't regenerate. If it regenerates, be careful with the ones that do. This one, we were lucky, doesn't. But on the flip end of it, it doesn't want to sand. So it doesn't want to give it up. But at the same time, that's a good thing to know because I know anything underneath this, it's not going to want to rust. So that's a good thing. It takes a lot more to permeate the metal. So thank you everybody for checking in with me today on should we or should we keep EDP coating. And the answer in general is, yeah, you can. Um, I like to take it off on exterior surfaces, but for the most part, I normally leave most of this on on the underlayments. It's not a bad coating, as long as you've got a very good coating over on top of it to lock everything, you should never have a problem. In the automotive industry, everybody's been asking that question a long time, should we, shouldn't we? Well, the general answer is, you're fine if you do. Um, and if you do take it off, that's good too. We could have sent all this to sandblast, got it all back, blew it down, and went right to town on it. That's fine too. Uh, exterior parts, like I say, I like the metal. I don't like their coating, but that's just for me making sure that no rust got down uh, in the coating, depending on how good the coating is. Until the next vlog, thank you all.